The Browns have been on a roll lately as they went into week 14 and in spite of the Browns losing to the Ravens, the Browns offense played an overall impressive game. However, the shift of the Browns success seemed to emerge right after the Browns star wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. suffered a torn ACL. There has been some beliefs and or theories that the absence of OBJ is the reason for the Browns success. Today, I will be clearing up any misconceptions about Odo Beckham Jr. and the Browns. Prior to Odell's injury, the Browns' talent on the field didn't level up with the production that was being put out. Some people put the blame on Baker Mayfield as him being a quarterback that entered into the league with a lot of hype and a lot of promise until now, he didn't really produce that. And many people look at OBJ as the problem. <laughs> That's nothing new. For people to say that Odell is the reason for the Browns lack of production, that is such an ignorant statement to me. Cause I, I had no idea that Odell could throw himself the ball. And I had no idea that Odell plays every single position on a football team. And if you didn't catch my sarcasm, he doesn't. Now, we all know about the greatness of Odell Beckham Jr. And quite frankly, there is no doubt in my mind that OBJ is still an elite wide receiver. And he's always been an elite wide receiver. If we're really being honest, there has only been two factors that would hold Odell back and that's one injuries and two not having a consistent quarterback that could actually get him the ball and since I bring up injuries I just would like to say that even in Odell's worst season after he had surgery he was still able to get over a thousand yards and it's not like he was the only weapon on the team and it's not like he didn't play alongside Jarvis Landry who also had a thousand yards and they were just force feeding him the ball and going back to not having a consistent quarterback if Odell had a consistent quarterback and his worst season he had over a thousand yards coming off of the injury can you imagine the damage that Odell could do if you give him a solid consistent accurate quarterback and that, my friends, is not an Odell problem, and he is not the issue. If Baker was lighting up the field left and right and being accurate every game, and Odell was consistently dropping passes, then Odell would be the issue. But prior to Odell's injury, Baker was struggling to make reads and complete simple passes. And this is no slander to Baker Mayfield because he, he did show out against the Ravens and he performed really good against the Ravens. But you were a first round pick for a reason. And with a talent like Odell Beckham Jr., you should be getting him the ball. I would even go as far to say that Odell is the same player that he has always been, but you can't see that when the person that is supposed to be throwing him the ball is not being accurate. At the very least, the problem is the chemistry between Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham Jr. And that's not a shot at either of them, but chemistry is something that could make or break a QB and wide receiver duo. I just love the fact that people love to stamp Odell as this problematic player when this season Odell has been everything but problematic. And to the narrative that Odell is this diva that consistently or constantly needs the ball is simply not true. Odell has stated many times that he doesn't have to break records or he doesn't have to have this absurd amount of stats as long as his team is successful. But you know, I guess it's easier to put the blame on someone or something than actually find a real solution. Um, I feel like I was brought here to help. I feel like I was brought here to help this team win and that's all I want to do. So if it has to be handoffs, like it's whatever. Uh, just finding ways to um, have successful plays, not just give me the ball to appease me or anything like that. It's more about having success within the, the, the game and within the team. Well, that is the end of the video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a short little quick little upload for you guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so every time I upload, you will be notified. But I will see you guys in the next video.